Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have it all, while others struggle to make ends meet? Why some people attract love, happiness and money, while others repel them? What if I told you that the secret to everything you want lies within you, and that you have the power to create your own reality? Neville Goddard said that everyone is yourself pushed out into manifestation. That means that everyone you encounter is a mirror of your own consciousness. They reflect back to you what you assume about yourself and about them. They act according to the role that you assign them in your mind. This may sound hard to believe, but it's true. Think about it, how many times have you experienced a situation where someone treated you exactly as you expected them to? How many times have you attracted people who matched your mood or your vibration? How many times have you influenced someone's behavior or attitude by changing yours? The reason for this is simple, your consciousness is the only reality. Your imagination is the only creative power. Your attention is the only causative force. Whatever you imagine and feel is true, whatever you focus on and accept is real, whatever you speak and act as if it were already done, will inevitably manifest in your external world. This is how you create your reality. You don't create it by manipulating or controlling others. You don't create it by forcing or struggling with circumstances. You don't create it by worrying or complaining about problems. You create it by imagining and feeling the end result that you desire. You create it by accepting and paying attention to the state of mind that corresponds to your wish fulfilled. You create it by surrendering and allowing the unseen forces to orchestrate the fulfillment of your desires. This is how you attract more money and prosperity into your life. You don't attract it by working harder or longer. You don't attract it by saving more or spending less. You don't attract it by begging or pleading with God or the universe. You attract it by imagining and feeling that you already have it. You attract it by accepting and paying attention to the prosperity that surrounds you. You attract it by surrendering and allowing the money to flow to you. The key to manifesting your desires is to align your thoughts, emotions and actions with the vibration of what you want. To do this, you need to imagine and feel that you already have something that you don't see in your physical reality. How do you do that? You use your creative power of visualization and affirmation to create a vivid mental picture and a positive statement of your desired outcome. You also use your emotional power of gratitude and joy to generate the feelings that you would have if your wish were already fulfilled. You then act as if you already have what you want, by taking inspired action and expressing your authentic self. But what if you face challenges or obstacles along the way? What if you encounter evidence that contradicts your vision? How do you accept and pay attention to something that seems absent or scarce in your current situation? You do that by trusting the process and the timing of the universe. You do not let the external circumstances dictate your inner state. You focus on what you can control, which is your attitude and your response. You also look for signs and synchronicities that show you that you are on the right track. You acknowledge and appreciate what you already have, and you celebrate every small step in progress. And finally, how do you surrender and allow something that seems impossible or improbable to happen? You do that by letting go of the outcome and the attachment to how it should happen. You do not force or manipulate things to fit your expectations. You do not worry or doubt about the future. You simply stay in the present moment, and enjoy the journey. You trust that the universe has your back, and that everything is working out for your highest good. You are open and receptive to receive the guidance and the opportunities that come your way. You are ready and willing to accept the miracles that await you. Everyone is you pushed out. What does this mean? It means that everything and everyone in your external world is a reflection of your internal state of being. It means that whatever you imagine, feel, believe, and expect about yourself and others, will be projected onto your reality. It means that you are the creator of your own experience, and you have the power to change it at any time. It's based on the principle of vibration, which states that everything in the universe is energy and has a frequency. And since we are also energy beings, we have the ability to tune into different frequencies and attract corresponding experiences. This is not some new age or pseudoscientific theory. It's actually backed by quantum physics, which shows that reality is not fixed or objective, but rather subjective and influenced by our observation and perception. 
It's also supported by countless testimonies of people who have applied this concept and transformed their lives in miraculous ways. One of them is me. I used to be a broke and miserable person who hated his job, had no friends, and suffered from depression and anxiety. I felt like a victim of my circumstances, and I blamed everyone else for my problems. I had no idea that I was actually creating my own misery with my negative thoughts and emotions. But then I discovered the concept of everyone as you pushed out, and everything changed. I realized that I had the power to change my reality by changing myself. I started to imagine and feel what I wanted to experience, instead of what I didn't want. I started to believe and expect that I deserve the best, instead of settling for less. I started to love and appreciate myself and others, instead of judging and criticizing. And guess what? My reality started to shift accordingly. Within a few months, I quit my job and started my own online business that became profitable in no time. I met amazing people who became my friends and mentors. I healed my mental and physical health issues. I attracted more money, opportunities, and happiness than ever before. How did I do it? By applying the concept of everyone as you pushed out. By changing my self-image, my beliefs, my feelings, and my expectations. By imagining and feeling that I already had what I desired, even when it seemed impossible or improbable. By accepting and paying attention to the evidence of my desired state, even when it seemed absent or scarce. By surrendering and allowing the manifestation process to unfold naturally and effortlessly. This is where autosuggestion, prayer, and controlled imagination come in handy. These are some of the tools that reality creation experts use to impress their subconscious mind with their desired state of being. These are some of the methods that they use to align their conscious mind with their wish fulfilled. Autosuggestion is a technique that involves repeating affirmations or positive statements to yourself on a regular basis. The purpose of autosuggestion is to program your subconscious mind with new beliefs that support your vision. For example, if you want to attract more money and prosperity into your life, you can use autosuggestions like I am wealthy and prosperous. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. I am a magnet for abundance and success. I always have more than enough money for everything I need and want. You can repeat these affirmations to yourself every morning when you wake up, every night before you go to sleep, or any time during the day when you feel inspired. You can also write them down, record them, or listen to them. The key is to repeat them with conviction and emotion, as if they were already true. Prayer is another technique that involves communicating with your higher self, your inner being, or the source of all creation. The purpose of prayer is to express your gratitude and appreciation for your desired state of being. For example, if you want to attract more money and prosperity into your life, you can use prayers like Thank you for the money and prosperity that fill my life. Thank you for the money that flows to me from multiple sources. Thank you for the opportunities and experiences that enrich my life. Thank you for the joy and happiness that money brings me. You can say these prayers to yourself silently or aloud, or you can write them down, record them, or listen to them. The key is to say them with sincerity and emotion, as if they were already true. Controlled imagination is a technique that involves visualizing or imagining your desired state of being in vivid detail. The purpose of controlled imagination is to create a mental scene that implies the fulfillment of your wish. For example, if you want to attract more money and prosperity into your life, you can use controlled imagination like Imagine yourself holding a check with a large amount of money in your hands. Imagine yourself receiving a phone call or an email with good news about your finances. Imagine yourself shopping for the things that you want or need without worrying about the price. Imagine yourself celebrating your financial success with your loved ones. You can do these visualizations in your mind's eye, or you can use pictures, videos, music, or any other sensory stimuli that help you create the scene. The key is to imagine it with clarity and emotion, as if it were already true. These are some of the techniques that reality creation experts use to impress their subconscious mind with their desired state of being. They use them consistently and persistently until they see the results in their physical reality. They don't let their current circumstances or their past experiences deter them from their vision. They don't let their doubts or their fears stop them from their mission. 
They don't let their logic or their reason limit them from their potential. They know that their subconscious mind is the bridge between their imagination and their manifestation. They know that their subconscious mind is the fertile soil where their seeds of desire are planted and nurtured. They know that their subconscious mind is the faithful servant that obeys their commands and delivers their orders. They also know how to guard their subconscious mind against self-suggestions that contradict their vision. They know how to avoid negative thoughts, words, and actions that undermine their confidence and faith. They know how to reject external influences that distract them from their focus and intention. They know that they are the only ones who can create their reality. They know that they are the only ones who can attract more money and prosperity into their life. They know that they are the only ones who can make their dreams come true. And so can you. It may not happen overnight, but it will happen sooner or later. It may not happen exactly as you expect, but it will happen better than you expect. It may not happen without challenges, but it will happen with ease. Trust me, it will happen. But don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Your subconscious mind is the creative power that shapes your reality according to your dominant thoughts and feelings. It does not judge or reason, it simply accepts whatever you impress upon it as true. By using these tools, you can program your subconscious mind with the state of being wealthy, successful, happy or whatever you desire. You can create a mental scene that implies that you already have what you want and feel the emotions associated with it. You can repeat affirmations or prayers that affirm your new state of being. You can visualize yourself living in your ideal reality and enjoy the sensations of it. But there is one more thing you need to do, you need to surrender control and let go of the outcome. You need to trust that the unseen forces of the universe will orchestrate the fulfillment of your desires in the best possible way. You need to detach from the how, when and where of your manifestation and focus on the what and why. You need to live in the end result as if it were already done. This is what Neville Goddard taught his VIP students in his famous exercise. He instructed them to follow these steps. 1. Choose a specific goal or desire that you want to manifest. 2. Define it clearly and concisely in a positive present tense statement. 3. Write it down on a piece of paper or card. 4. Read it aloud several times a day with feeling and conviction. 5. Before going to sleep at night, relax your body and mind completely. 6. Enter into a state akin to sleep, which is a state of reduced awareness and increased receptivity. 7. In this state, Imagine that you are holding the paper or card in your hand and reading your statement aloud. 8. Feel the reality of what you are saying and see yourself as already having what you want. 9. Repeat this process until you fall asleep while feeling the satisfaction of your wish fulfilled. 10. Do not discuss your goal or desire with anyone else until it manifests. By following this exercise, Neville Goddard claimed that his students were able to manifest anything they wanted in a matter of days or weeks. He said that this was the most effective way to impress the subconscious mind with the idea of the desired state and to activate the law of attraction. So if you are ready to learn how to use your imagination to create the life you want, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And remember, you are not living in a material world. You are living in a world of imagination. If you want to learn more about how to use these tools effectively, Check out my manifestingreality.com website where you can find more tips, stories, resources, and products that will help you create your dream reality. If you're keen to delve deeper, consider joining the free course, Hack Your Subconscious Mind with Switchwords and connecting with a community of like-minded individuals on our free Facebook group Switchwords Miracles and Reality Creation. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey. If you found value in this video, don't forget subscribe for more empowering insights. Stay tuned for more empowering content that empowers you to unlock your fullest potential and create the life of your dreams. Thank you for watching and remember, you are the creator of your own reality. You can shift to any reality you want. You just need to reprogram your subconscious mind. I would love to hear from you and support you on your journey. Until next time, happy shifting.